So the project started with an undergraduate student at Carnegie Mellon who was studying engineering. Her name is Arnel Etienne, and she saw that EEG, this brain sensing technique, doesn't work on her hair type. She has a huge, beautiful afro. And so she decided to create her own adapters that work better with black hair, coarse hair, textured hair, African hair. Through her project um, in the lab of Polka Grover at Carnegie Mellon, they decided to actually commercialize the product and um, join Precision Neuroscopics, which is the company that um, entered the pinch competition. So the problem with EEG is that it doesn't work as well with people with coarse and curly hair or Afro-textured hair. The beauty of this product, in, in the history of neuroscience, We've been excluding people with coarse and curly hair for years. So this excludes lots of African people, African-American people, Caribbean people, or just anyone of any race with uh, coarse and textured hair. And so this is a huge problem, not only in uh, clinical care, but in the research lab too. And so this uh, solution is really addressing both of these groups. Here we have this electrode, which is rather small, and this design is something that's been used for decades and decades. However, with EEG testing, access to the scalp is really important. Due to the texture of coarse and curly hair, its density, thickness, and how much it bounces, it makes it really difficult to access the scalp with this type of electrode. With the novel design of Sevo, we take advantage of these attributes to keep the electrodes in place and provide more accurate testing results. When this great team of engineers um, approached me with their clinical problem, um, I was happy to acknowledge that we have the same issues um, when we care for patients. Um, so it's an important problem, um, and EEG is an important test to help kids with epilepsy. Um, so it's something physicians really need. We have gotten so much good feedback from families, from kids, from parents and caregivers um, about how this has really helped improve um, the testing. The Sevo product and Precision Neuroscopics have really started to get the community to change and, and talk about inclusivity in medicine. But I really think the pinch competition and this collaboration especially has gotten a national and even international conversation started about neuroethics. So our team has been able to publish in the top journals, Nature Neuroscience and Frontiers in Human Brain Imaging, not only in EEG, but in other neuroimaging modalities that are becoming more popular. It's become a huge conversation topic and people have reached out to us to buy the product and collaborate with us just from the Pinch website and having our information out there and our pitch out there. So it's been a completely rewarding experience, especially for us on the precision neuroscopic side.